Next is number 45 on your list, Acer Pseudoplatinus. This is the uh, sycamore or plane tree maple. So uh, it gets the name uh, uh, um, Acer Pseudoplatinus because uh, it's similar to platinus. Of course, that's where it also gets the common name from. So you can see the leaf shape is somewhat reminiscent to uh, platinus. And then again, uh, also looks quite a lot like a, a maple. One thing I will point out, uh, look at your slides. There are uh, varieties of Acer Pseudoplatinus that have both green uh, and then there are other forms that have uh, purple uh, on the base of the, um, of the foliage. Myself, I like the purple, gives it a little bit more interest. Acer pseudoplatinus, like Acer platinoides, uh, has become uh, somewhat weedy or invasive. So this is another species that started to be banned in uh, New England states. Uh, one thing I will point out, in addition to its leaf shape, it actually uh, shares this trait with uh, uh, Acer uh, or with the um, with, uh, genus Platinus, that it does have a bit of an exfoliating sort of uh, blocky bark, uh, generally smooth, but then will transition to this exfoliating bark. A final trait I want to talk about for Acer Pseudoplatinus is the, uh, the uh, bud shape on this guy is, is really quite similar to Acer Platinoides. Uh, the easy way to tell them apart, uh, during the growing season they're both uh, large uh, fat buds that are green. But then as you transition into winter, Acer platinoides is going to turn uh, distinctly maroon or purple, and Acer uh, pseudoplatinus will remain green uh, all through the winter. So that's Acer uh, pseudoplatinus, your plane tree maple.